This picture is looking directly just straight into your joint from the back. So we look back to front. This is the ball on the so left. So there's a hole in the back? Yep, well, we, we use the camera to come in. With come the in from behind, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, and so the ball is on the left, your yeah. socket is on the right, and the cartilage is what covers it. So the cartilage looks relatively okay. Um, in the front, you can see this fraying here. Uh, and we zoom in a little bit closer to it, and here's a little bit more of that fraying. That's your labrum. So what, is, what is this thing? Here? That's a probe. That's a probe that helps us kind of look around okay. and feel things out in the joint. Okay. So we have the probe in the labrum, the tear or the fraying, kind of pulling it uh, away from the uh, socket to kind of examine what it looks like better. So you have fraying of your labrum, which is pretty normal for your age group. Nothing out of the ordinary. Um, let's see. Here we're looking at the top of your labrum, and this is the biceps tendon coming into view. Okay. Um, all relative. There's the bicep tendon again. No, actually, this is below the socket now. So here we're kind of next to the socket. Now we dive below it, so the socket's above me, oh. us, and here's the pouch below. So we look. Sometimes people have loose bodies or anything in there. You don't have anything in there. You talk about it's just, inflammation. It's, that this yes, is inflammation. Yes, that's inflammation. So the red kind of streaks is just like an, an angry shoulder. A painful shoulder. That's pretty common. Uh, Where is the pain coming from? The swelling or from the tear? Uh, both. Okay. A lot of times it's both. Because um, it got down pretty low. Yeah. The tear. Um, okay. And then here's the sh a shaver. So it's a motor shaver um, in there getting rid of some of that labor. Oh. So that tear can cause pain if it gets pinched. Uh -huh. uh, so we get rid of the edges to clean that up. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so this is looking at your the back of your labrum. So we were looking at the front labrum way up here before. Now we're looking at the back labrum. Kind of the same thing. There's, you know, the tissue is a little frayed. Uh, it's red, so it's a little angry. But um, all things we kind of expect. Now these th the, the angriness, the redness, mm -hmm. is that something that's going to go away now? I mean, oh, hopefully. It's because of the pain. And... It's part of it is from the pain. Yeah. Okay. Just being a you know your shoulders inflamed and, and painful. So hopefully that will all you know kind of get better. Uh, um, so these pictures are okay. This is showing some of your tendons. So this one, I have, we have a probe above the biceps tendon. We're pulling the biceps down to get a good look at it. Um, so this is your biceps tendon looped underneath the probe. Are you saying that looks good or bad? It looks, uh, it's got a little redness to it. I think there was one other, oh, here we go. Is this the shot? Yeah, here you go. So here's the biceps. We pulled it in further, and this is definitely an angry looking biceps tendon. You can see all that red mm -hmm. vessels and so yeah. know, they turned red. That's interesting. Yeah, it is. Um, let's see, those are kind of the same. So here we're getting to actual rotator cuff stuff. Um, this is the underside of your rotator cuff where it's frayed. So we're using a, a shaver to get rid of some of that frayed rotator cuff tendon. Mm -hmm. The stuff that's torn that's just kind of hanging there. Do, do you suction that out? Or yep. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. And then here's the tear, looking at it from the side. Yeah. And so here's the tear. After these frayed edges get cleaned up, this is basically what it looks like. There's a hole. Okay, so how much is left holding on? Uh, we've, all of this right here, well, this is maybe a centimeter okay. in width, so maybe a little bit more. It it's, looks way bigger on a <laughs> right, right, magnifying camera, down. but maybe so something like that. How, how long is it normally? How long is what? The rotator? The tendon, yeah. Oh, it could be, it's about two centimeters. So it's half of its torn. Approximately, yeah. About wow. Mm -hmm. I think they said it was a full thickness tear. Yeah, That's full what thickness this is called. means all the way through. All the through. way through, uh -huh. okay. And then, so here's the tear. Here are the stitches that were placed deep above it and then down to, along the side of it. So it makes like an X across mm -hmm. it, pulling all of that down. Hmm. And how does they pull it? How do they make it come together? When they stitched it together? They're anchors above into the bone oh. so the anchor there anchor there the stitches run out of the anchor and cross over the top of the tendon then there's oh. another anchor here anchor here so it almost compresses or pushes all that tissue how down. do they tighten it with stitches stitches i guess i'm missing the question uh, like we tie we tie a knot to snug it down uh, and will that stay mm -hmm. and does that ever dissolve uh, non-dissolvable stitches no okay. it won't dissolve but the whole point is to have your tendon heal to the bone so eventually these stitches aren't necessary they're not doing anything right so uh, all they're going to do is they brought it kind of like I cut my finger yes. push the skin together exactly hold it there and exactly. eventually it will grow back together exactly wow exactly right yep Thank yeah you.
Yeah, because if, if we had to rely... What is your name again? Harvey's my first name. Harvey. Oliver's my last name. If we had to rely on the stitches, they'll eventually fail. Right. You know, over thousands sure. of times you're moving your arm. And the bicep, he said he... Um, I'll take it. The bicep, he um, pulled, pulled down. down. Yeah, what so does he do to it? The biceps, when it was coming in, it puts a lot of tension on it. Right. So we release it from the shoulder joint, cut the biceps tendon, and then we move it lower out of the joint. So if it was in the Get joint... Get access to work, huh? Yeah, and you t we take it out of the joint because that's where it can hurt. So once we take it out of the joint and move it down lower, it's not in the joint anymore and it doesn't necessarily cause all that pain. Because it's also pulling on your labrum, all that fraying we saw. Mm -hmm. That biceps is constantly tugging on that yeah. area. So we take that off so it's not having that constant pull. Okay. We won't stay that way, though. What's that? The bicep off. tendon. The bicep tendon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we took it off and moved it, implanted it lower. Okay, so you reestablished. Yes, okay. reestablished a new home for it, so it's not pulling out a painful spot. All right. Yeah. Great. Very good. Thank you. It's good Appreciate stuff. It. No, you bet. Appreciate it. I think you'll be a lot happier with it. So. I hope so. Yeah. Just got to get through a couple weeks. Yeah, recovery. <laughs> that's the next step. Um, so.